nuclear fusion has had a huge breakthrough. And I know this is a political show, so you might be asking why we're talking about this, because this has massive political ramifications in the world of kind of green energy and how we're going to fight climate change. And so I know there's a division of sorts within the pro uh, response to climate change, the environmentally concerned individuals uh, community, we'll say, on the issue of nuclear energy. And I think it needs to be said that we should 100% be pursuing nuclear energy. Specifically, if we can advance the nuclear fusion technology, that's going to make our life a whole lot easier when it comes to producing energy in a clean way. So to kind of give you the non-scientist uh, summary of what's going on here, you probably know, but just for anyone, nuclear fission is the splitting of atoms and nuclear fusion is the fusing of atoms put them together. And that fusion creates a whole lot of energy, but doesn't create in the same way that nuclear fission does the nuclear waste, which is a huge concern with nuclear fission. So right now we do have fission, we don't have fusion, but there's a huge breakthrough on that, which is exciting and could, as I said before, make our lives a lot easier. Here from CNN, uh, for the first time ever, U.S. scientists at the National Ignition Facility at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory in California successfully produce a nuclear fusion reaction resulting in a net energy gain. A source familiar with the project confirmed to CNN. The U.S. Department of Energy is expected to officially announce the breakthrough Tuesday. The result of the experiment would be a massive step in a decades-long quest to unleash an infinite source of clean energy that could help end dependence on fossil fuels. Researchers for decades have attempted to recreate nuclear fusion, replicating the fusion that powers the sun. And that's the phrase that kind of gets circulated that's so exciting is infinite source of clean energy. It's not to say the rolling out of this, the regulation of this, the safety concerns won't be complex and this is just easy walk forever, you know, but it is to say that the struggle we're having now with coming up with enough energy or projecting out how we could come up with enough energy in a clean way is going to get less of a struggle if nuclear fusion becomes more available and popularized and just scientifically um, something we're capable of, which it looks like in a way we're getting there and that's awesome. So here's this being discussed um, on CNN. This fusion thing that people have been, it's been so hard to achieve and how it could change the game for the climate crisis. Yes, this is the holy grail of energy. Imagine uh, a glass of water fueling your house for hundreds of years with no waste, cheaply, renewably. Uh, this is what they've said is just a decade away and always will be, is the joke about oh. nuclear fusion. Fission uh, that we are familiar with splits atoms and creates all the nuclear waste that we know about. Fusion jams them together by basically creating a star in a box. You're creating the power of the sun uh, and you're using uh, hydrogen atoms, water, H2O, right? And smash them together. And up until now, the, the conventional way to do this was to use these massive magnets, magnets that are big enough literally to lift an aircraft carrier. Wow. But the Lawrence Livermore uh, Laboratory, they decided to use lasers. And so they're heating up this, this hydrogen plasma, making it so hot that the reaction creates more energy than you put in. And so this could be a major breakthrough, Secretary Granholm expected to uh, announce tomorrow. That is huge. Uh, so I'm going to be interested to hear, let me know in the comments, where you guys stand on all this, the excitement level, the interest level, um, because, of course, I can already predict the title of who who knows how we'll actually title it but a breakthrough on nuclear fusion something or another isn't going to grab people like some other things but it actually has more of an effect on the world than much else i mean this is a way we could genuinely save ourselves from many of the ramifications of climate change by slowing it um significantly and not having to worry about where do we get the the resources and the technology and all of that in the same way that we do with other of course fossil fuels but then also even a lot of green energy alternatives have some logistical struggle now that's going to be a thing with fusion but at least we know there really is an infinite amount of energy that can be produced if we could effectively master nuclear fusion which is unbelievably exciting